morning everybody it's november 15th that's wednesday so here i am in numbers book of numbers 14 uh 13 rather okay and so this is about the spies and so i'm gonna uh, call this video i'm gonna and the theme of this video is going to be let the spirit of joshua and caleb come forth let the spirit of joshua and caleb come forth and here's what I mean by this, because God showed the, he, the Israelites, you know, the promised land, told them he's going to, you know, milk a honey, and it's just going to be beautiful and be wonderful, you know. Well, they kind of didn't believe them. They wanted to see for themselves. They wanted to go ahead. It kind of reminds me of the, the boy that wanted to grab his inheritance, you know. And when God gave it to him, he spent it all, right? And then he came running back to the father. So this is sort of like, I don't know if that parallels, but sort of reminded me of that. So God said he didn't really, you know, he wanted him to be, he wanted all of them to really trust him that this was going to be a great promised land. But they went like, ah, oh, let's go check. We want, we want to go look and see. And so he said, okay. So God knew what they were going to see. He knew they were going to see the giants. He knew they were going to see the fortified city. He knew that. But he let him go anyway. You know, God, sometimes if we want to do something, he'll let us do it. It won't be his, you know, and even after he said everything's going to be okay. And sometimes we go like, I don't know, you know, and everything. And so we want to check it out and, and worry and all this stuff. And so God says, well, you know, okay, whatever. But so what happened is they went out for 40 days, 12 of them. It says, and they came back in, in 27 Thirteen twenty-seven. Then they told him Moses and said, "We went out to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit." And they brought back this, I think, really huge fruit. Nevertheless, <laughs> that's a bad word. The people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw descendants of Anak. Anak meaning the giants there. How? And nevertheless. And we go down to 30, then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let's go up at once and take possession for we are well able to overcome it. <laughs> Yay, Caleb. But the men who had gone up with him said, we're not able to go against these people and they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out. So they scared everybody. And so sometimes, you know, it kind of reminds me of the news, you know, where it says there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, you know, well, there's stuff going on out there. But the news people seems like want to skip, well, the enemy wants to scare you, wants you, you know, to be in a bomb shelter and be scared to death, you know. But God, <laughs> we have God. And then I'm looking at Sarah Young for today. It says, you pit yourself against the difficulties as if you had to conquer it immediately. So even though we may see difficulties ahead, we got to see, we got to live for today, you know. We can't presume we, under, we know what God's going to do tomorrow, even though our imagination or sometimes whatever's going on now, it makes sense that from here that this would happen and here that this would happen, you know. So we're, we think we're so smart and we're figuring it all out. But God has a better plan. And so we need to rely on him. You always face trouble. This is Sarah Young again. Face trouble in this life, but more importantly, you will always have Jesus helping you to handle whatever you encounter. So that's where you got to be, you know. You can't, you just can't worry. And I'm going to end this quick video with John 14, 26. I love John. I love John 14, too, and 17. But anyway, it says... Um, <clears throat> this is Jesus talking. I know that because it says it's red letters. <laughs> it says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all things that I said to you. And then 27 says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. <laughs> and so I'm going to, my final, final thought is sometimes we worry for ourselves, but sometimes we worry for others. And we look at where their life is, you know, and what they're doing and everything, and we worry, worry. But you know what? This word is not just for you. It's not just for, you know, the church people. 
It's for everybody. And so you can even, you know, speak this over them and believe for them that says the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father sent in my name, he will teach. And then you can name your people, you know, all your family members, your husbands, your spouse, your kids. He will teach them all things and bring to them remembrance all things that I said to you. Peace I leave with you. Speak peace. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart, heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hmm. That's red letters. <laughs> That's Jesus. Because <laughs> you know what? I love you guys, but he lo Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.